Hello, thanks for tuning in to today's broadcast. I am your host, Senator Credit Champion. And listen, I thanks for your support on the last video I made um, entitled, My Submissive Wife Disagrees With Me. That video, doing pretty good. And so I will periodically make videos with my wife. Um, I sense I see you like that. And so your participation in the video shows me what you like. And today I'm talking about Gucci. Yes, that's right, Gucci, the brand. They're in the news for some controversy um, ads that they've done that appear to be kind of questionable. Um, they have an ad with a grown man standing by a toddler or a small child's bed. Let's say it that way, a small child's bed. And it just looks kind of questionable. The guy also has on like a pink teddy bear t-shirt standing next to this child bed. Well, it's a mattress actually. Um, you gotta excuse me, I just woke up. You know, when you wake up, your brain is kind of boggy. But I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. My brain is clear. You know, you always gotta cover yourself. You know, death and life is in the power of the tongue. So be careful what you speak over yourself. Sometimes we say, you know, when we get a bill, we can't pay. We say, well, I don't know how I'm gonna pay this bill. Well, instead of confessing that, say, all my needs are met in the name of Jesus. Speak life, you know, speak dominion. You know, God gave us dominion over all creeping things in the face of the earth. That includes bills. You have dominion over everything that creepeth on the earth, over every creature, over every creation. And so you can exercise that dominion but you have to know who you are we are children of the most high god but enough preaching let's get back to this gucci because listen my wife she has gucci louis and you know prada you know all those designers and you know she's from well she moved from brooklyn new york to Georgia and so you know I've never been to the Gucci store well I've been one time to a store that had a Gucci in it I think I went to Neiman Marcus and they had a Gucci and that was in Boston but I've never been to a specialty just Gucci store where they bring you something to drink and I've never had that treatment before the luxury treatment so while we were in New York, I wanted to go to, New to Gucci and get a belt. But with all this going on, you ask yourself, like, should I be supporting Gucci? Should I buy a belt from Gucci? And, you know, it's kind of conflicting. You know, if you look at from a morality standpoint, you know, it's like, no, I shouldn't. But if you look at it from a brand standpoint and a business standpoint, I should. Because the brand is popular. The brand is eye-catching. And I'm wanting to rebrand myself, right? So let me know what you think. You know, is it okay to buy Gucci or no? And why do you feel that way? Why do you feel that way? I'm sure we go back into the history of your favorite designer. I'm sure there's something they've done wrong. I'm sure there is. But I, I guess if you don't know, that's different. If you don't know, that's different. And I'm not talking about rumors. I'm talking about factual things that a designer has done wrong oh and let me tell you something else that's going on in the news about gucci um i think she's the granddaughter of 
the designer. Um, she carries the middle name Gucci. And she is um she is the reason I lost my thought. Uh a Brinks guard just got out with a gun on his hip and I'm sitting right here by the car. <laughs> <laughs> kind of took my thought a little bit, but anyway, um, yeah, she's in the news reporting that her grandfather um, molested her, and so, yeah, it's just a lot going on with Gucci, Balenciaga, they're just like in a storm right now, and so, you know, it's kind of conflicting now. Listen, I'm not going to ask my wife to throw away her stuff by no means. And a matter of fact, I've already made my decision. I guess you'll just have to see, wait to see what it is. And um, I'm not even going to try to justify it with some kind of deep answer. You know, I just want what I want and... I'm going to get the belt. I mean, I want a Gucci belt. I'm just going to get the belt. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to try to, like like I say, justify with some kind of deep answer. But it's like in the world we're living in, sometimes, like, you don't even feel that you're non-participation is going to change anything. I mean, people still going to buy Gucci. People still going to wear Gucci. People are still going to um, like Gucci, even though these things have happened. And so, yeah, you know, you can call it sad. You can call it materialistic, vain, whatever. But, yeah, I don't feel so convicted that, you know, I won't wear Gucci um, that's just like I don't feel so convicted that I won't ever listen to R. Kelly or that I won't ever watch Bill Cosby you know so I'm just going to leave it at that man you know I, I can't like I said I don't have no deep answer for you what it is concerned you know um, I, I pride myself on being a Christian and a man of God and I know that, like, God can use anyone. That's just like if you judge someone off their past and they've changed, you know, God, he doesn't look at us based on our past. If we come to him through faith in Jesus Christ, he forgives us, you know. And so, but yeah, there, there is a difference between us coming to Jesus and asking for forgiveness and you know, this other situation, you know, I'm sure that Gucci apologized, um, they pulled the ad, you know, so that's a good question. Should we forgive them? Should we not only forgive them, but should we extend grace to them? There you have it. So some, some that you got to think about, I mean, if you're against it, you're going to be against it anyway, but you know, if you're for it, you're going to be for it anyway, but it's, up to you as an individual you know so listen thanks for tuning in to the broadcast i gotta go in here and get my wife's prescription and um listen next time you see me we're gonna be preparing to go to new york city for our vacation christmas and so listen thanks for tuning in to this channel subscribe like and share the video all right thank you bye-bye